In recent days, a geological region previously considered stable has experienced a series of alarming events. An earthquake measuring approximately 5.8 magnitude, measurements indicating accelerated magma movement at depth and a sharp rise in ground level around the Giza area, the hot springs and steam that emerge from geothermal systems. The combination of these four incidents should not be dismissed as a mere coincidence. Geologists warn that this could indicate that the underground volcanic system, or caldera, is entering a reactivated phase, or in other words, perhaps being awakened by previously dormant forces. A magnitude 5.8 earthquake is not uncommon in relatively quiet Giza or caldera areas. Such an earthquake indicates a significant release of stress in the Earth's crust, either due to tectonic shifts or due to the pressure generated by rising magma or gas beneath the surface. In many geophysical studies, when magma moves and compresses surrounding rock, or when gas, hydrothermal energy is injected into brittle rock formations, tectonic and volcanic earthquakes can be triggered in response to changes in pressure and stress underground. For example, observations at the Yellowstone caldera indicate that magma inflation, the rising of magma, causing the ground to rise, is linked to seismic activation. Measurements of magma movement and ground deformation Modern geological reports indicate that when magma rises through conduits in the Earth's crust, it can cause significant uplift. In the case of Yellowstone, some areas show the ground rising several centimeters per year due to magma accumulation at depth. Furthermore, studies in other regions indicate that swarms, groups of small earthquakes, are often initiated by magma rising into shallower reservoirs, which then creates new fracture lines and faults. Active geyser systems Geysers are surface manifestations of deeper geothermal systems, where hot water, steam and gases heated by magma or hot rock rise to the surface. When the subsurface structure changes, for example, due to increased pressure, rising magma or a hydrothermal system pushing against the rock geyser activity can improve or change patterns. Research at Steamboat Geyser, for example, suggests that local earthquakes can trigger geyser eruptions as changes in rock permeability following seismic waves allow the flow of previously restricted steam, hot water. When we put all of this together, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake, magma movement, hydrothermal pressure, rising ground and increased geyser activity, a strong hypothesis emerges that we are seeing signs that the magma reservoir or geothermal system beneath the caldera is reactivating, perhaps heading toward a larger phase. In other words, the earthquake is not simply the result of a simple tectonic shift, but could be a trigger or indicator that the subterranean floating system is shifting toward a more critical state. Has the 5.8 magnitude earthquake activated something bigger beneath the caldera? Most likely, but it's important to note that bigger doesn't necessarily mean an imminent major eruption. When magma begins to rise, it presses on the surrounding rock, opening new fissures and causing deformation. Studies in Santorini, for example, found that the rise of 300 million m cubed of magma from a depth of about 18 kilometers to 3-4 kilometers caused thousands of earthquakes. 
If a similar scenario were to occur in our location, then a 5.8 magnitude earthquake could indicate that magma is beginning to move or hydrothermal pressure is increasing and that the caldera system is being filled or pumped back up. The sharp rise in the ground uplift reinforces this. Uplifts indicate accumulated pressure beneath the surface, not only from tectonic rocks, but also from magma, gas, hydrothermal energy pushing upward. The case of Yellowstone shows that uplift can reach tens of centimeters over a few years due to magma intrusion. Furthermore, geyser activation, or increased geothermal activity in a geyser area, acts as a warning signal that the pathway to the surface is opening or expanding gas and steam rise more easily, rocks become more brittle, and flow paths open. If the system shifts from a quiet to an active state, early symptoms such as earthquakes, uplift, underground rumbling sounds, some reports refer to geysers as roaring, and geyser activity may appear. However, while these signs are serious, one thing volcanologists emphasize is that not every magma rise or seismic uptick will immediately lead to a major eruption. For example, at Yellowstone, there was a major uplift in earthquakes, but not immediately followed by a major explosion. So, the 5.8 magnitude earthquake could be considered a reset of the system, which may have opened a pathway or activated new pressure beneath the caldera. If pressure continues to build, magma rises closer to the surface and gas. Hot water pathways continue to open, then the potential for an eruption or a major change in the geothermal system becomes more likely.